there are moments when the animal kingdom leaves us in awe. In one such incredible event, a wolf came across a small infant in the aftermath of a devastating car accident. The wolf then carried her deep into the forest, where a remarkable tale unfolded. The incident began with a serene quietness in the air, only filled with the natural sounds of the forest and chirping birds. This tranquility was shattered by the horrifying sound of a car losing control after a tire blowout. The driver was unable to maintain the vehicle's path as it veered off the road, hitting the gravel and rolling down a slope. Amidst the chaos of metal contorting and glass shattering, the driver was thrown from the vehicle. As the car came to a stop, a baby's cries echoed in the eerie silence, soon stopping, possibly due to shock. The mother, in a state of semi-consciousness, groaned in pain, her thoughts clouded with worry for her child, but she was unable to regain full consciousness. Smoke began to fill the scene, and the child's car seat hung precariously, still securing the baby inside. Out of the forest shadows, a wolf appeared, its nose twitching as it picked up the scent of blood and sensed the dire situation. It approached the vehicle, now smoking heavily, and made its way to the car seat. The wolf's pulling at the seat stirred the baby to cry once more, catching the brief attention of her mother. She glimpsed a large wolf near her child, its teeth exposed in a threatening manner. She tried to scream but slipped back into unconsciousness. Unobserved by the mother, the wolf delicately chewed through the straps of the car seat, freeing the infant. With utmost care, it picked up the child by her clothing and retreated deeper into the woods. Simultaneously, the woman's mobile app had triggered an automatic emergency alert to the police and rescue services about the accident. As the car began to be consumed by flames, help arrived at the scene. At the same time, a search and rescue specialist named Nolan Stevens was dispatched and was among the first to arrive. He rushed toward the flaming wreckage in hopes of finding survivors but was hindered by the intense fire. A veteran in crisis situations, however, he was undeterred and ready to undertake any necessary actions. After trying to pry the door open and finding it unnecessary, he noticed the woman lying on the hillside where she had been ejected. After being ejected from the vehicle during the crash, the woman was found barely breathing and completely immobile. Understanding the risk of exacerbating potential spinal injuries or causing permanent paralysis, the first responder on the scene made the critical decision not to move her prematurely. The tension was palpable as he awaited the arrival of the paramedics, and when they finally arrived, he felt a wave of relief wash over him as he realized he had been holding his breath due to the severity of her head injuries. The emergency medical technicians, fully aware of the delicate situation, carefully and efficiently transported her to the ambulance. As they made their way to the hospital, the woman began to regain consciousness and weakly called out for someone named Anna. Despite the paramedics' efforts to calm her, she repeatedly inquired about this mysterious person. Initially, her requests seemed confused and disjointed, but it soon became clear she was desperately asking about her baby, expressing urgent concern for the safety of her child. This revelation was shocking to the crew as it implied there might have been another passenger involved in the crash. Unable to return to the crash site themselves due to the urgency of the woman's condition, the paramedics immediately contacted other first responders to search for the child. Nolan, ridden with guilt for not having checked for additional passengers sooner, quickly volunteered to go back. He was experienced and closest to the scene. Upon his return, he found the aftermath of the extinguished fire devastating. His heart sank at the thought of the baby potentially having been inside the vehicle during the fire. Miraculously, he noticed drag marks leading away from the wreckage and followed them, eventually discovering a car seat concealed in the bushes. A surge of hope filled him as he realized the distance from the fire might have spared the baby from smoke inhalation. However, the relief turned to confusion when he inspected the car seat to find it empty, with the safety belt crudely cut, leaving jagged edges. The scene was perplexing. His investigation took an even more mysterious turn when he spotted large wolf paw prints nearby. The possibility that a wolf might have taken the baby was chilling. Determined to uncover the truth, Nolan followed the tracks, clinging to a hopeful belief that it might not be too late to bring some resolution to the distraught family. 
With a mix of determination and optimism, Nolan briefed his team on his findings and set out without delay to track down the baby, hoping against all odds that the child was still safe and unharmed. The alternative was too grim to bear. Nolan meticulously packed his backpack with all the essential hiking gear, ensuring he was well prepared for the challenging expedition ahead. Only minutes after discovering the abandoned car seat, the gravity of the situation became palpably clear to him. He quickly informed his team, who were set to join him as soon as they could. Diligently, Nolan tracked the wolf's footprints through the rugged terrain, but as the light began to wane and dusk transitioned into night, a daunting obstacle arose. Despite being equipped with a flashlight, the risk of missing crucial clues in the darkness was too high, and could potentially result in losing the baby forever. The idea of returning to the comfort of his warm bed while a baby's life hung in balance was unthinkable for Nolan. Driven by a deep sense of duty, he chose to remain in the wilderness until daybreak. After communicating his decision to his team, he constructed a temporary campsite to continue his vigil. As the night progressed, sporadic howls from the wolves pierced the silence, intensifying his concerns for the infant, whom he had named Anna in his mind heightening his resolve to find her as quickly as possible. Sleep was elusive, each howl reminding him of the peril the child was in. The chilling cold of the night air was not the only thing bothering Nolan. The thought of the baby possibly being injured from a recent car accident, or worse, being in the proximity of wolves, weighed heavily on his mind. The situation was dire. There was a small sense of relief knowing that Anna's mother, although thrown from the vehicle, had miraculously sustained no spinal or neck injuries. Yet, she had suffered severe head trauma, necessitating her placement in an induced coma to aid her recovery. The medical team was deeply concerned about her condition, but for Nolan, there was a slight solace in knowing the mother was spared the harrowing news of her missing child, for the time being. Anna's family was enveloped in a mix of fortune and despair. Her father, overwhelmed with worry, expressed a desperate wish to join the search. However, he was reassured that experienced professionals were already on the case, and that his best contribution would be to stay by his wife's side, offering her the support she needed during this critical time. For Nolan, a veteran of numerous search and rescue missions, both in military and civilian capacities, this mission was excruciatingly painful. Unlike his previous operations, which typically involved adults or teenagers who had better odds of survival until rescue, this case involved a defenseless infant. The stakes were unimaginably high, and every second that ticked by was another second the baby remained in jeopardy. A vulnerable infant, not even a year old and entirely dependent on a swift rescue operation, was at the heart of Nolan's mission. Committed to using every resource at his disposal, he planned to start the rescue as soon as the break of dawn offered sufficient light for visibility. The air was crisp and cool, causing Nolan to shudder at the implications of such temperatures for the baby. He traced a set of wolf tracks through the forest, leading him to several dens that had previously housed wolf families. The ground was a complex web of intersecting tracks, making it essential for Nolan to move with great care. Despite his extensive experience in the wilderness, he was fully aware of the potential danger posed by a wolf pack, particularly if they felt their cubs were threatened. However, the safety of the child was his overriding priority, not his own safety. With trembling hands and a heart racing with both fear and urgency, Nolan cautiously illuminated the entrance of each den with his flashlight. His mind was fraught with anxiety about what he might find inside, whether the wolves were present or the condition the child might be in. The possibility of the child suffering from the ordeal, and the lasting impact it could have on everyone involved, loomed large in his thoughts. Nolan had to compartmentalize his fears and focus on the task at hand. The first den he checked was desolate, draped in cobwebs, a sign it hadn't been occupied by wolves for a while. His thorough search through these dens consumed precious time, time that might have been better spent searching more directly for the child. Moreover, navigating these dens added complexity to an already harrowing day. The paw prints were intertwined and challenging to read, but Nolan was determined to follow the specific tracks of the wolf he had been tracking. He couldn't afford to lose the trail now. Maintaining it was crucial to holding on to the slim hope they had. 
Nolan retraced his steps to where the tracks were last clear and continued his search with heightened vigilance for signs of the wolf he was tracking. Eventually, he emerged on the other side of the dens, familiar with the specific prints to look for, which allowed him to continue the pursuit. As he moved forward, the surroundings began to look more familiar. He had entered from the opposite side of the forest but recognized the area from previous explorations. Nolan recalled a time he had ventured into these woods to rescue a group of teenagers on an adventure. The forest paths, while seemingly straightforward, required careful navigation to avoid getting lost. His previous experience in these woods now served him well as he intensified his efforts to locate and rescue the infant, driven by a profound sense of duty and urgency. Assist in its care. This revelation profoundly shifted Nolan's view on the nature of wild animals, particularly wolves, who are often misjudged due to prevalent myths and fears surrounding them. In the expansive wilderness where it is easy to veer off the marked paths and become hopelessly lost, park officials had strategically placed several cabins throughout the area. These cabins were stocked with basic supplies and were meant to provide relief for those running low on provisions or a warm shelter during the chilly nights of camping. However, for Nolan, these amenities seemed irrelevant at the moment. A wolf, after all, wouldn't be aware of these safe havens, or so he thought. Strangely, the wolf's tracks did not lead Nolan towards these cabins. Instead, the animal led him higher into the mountainous terrain. Nolan was initially surprised when he discovered that the wolf's destination was a secluded cabin often used by park rangers and occasionally by biologists conducting field work. It was unusual for a typically solitary wolf to approach an area associated with human activity. More concerning was the fact that this particular cabin had been empty for several months. If the wolf expected to find humans there, it was going to be disappointed. With his destination clear, Nolan quickened his pace. He had learned that the wolf had found the baby in the aftermath of a car accident and had carried her into the woods. As he reached the clearing where the cabin was located, he was met with a scene that would dramatically change his perspective. Instead of a dangerous encounter, he found the wolf sunbathing on the porch, with the tiny baby comfortably nestled beside it, surprisingly calm and not crying. This worried Nolan, knowing the urgency of securing medical attention for her. Yet, he needed to carefully extricate her from the protective wolf, which was cuddling her as if she were its own offspring. Just as Nolan prepared for a potential confrontation, readying his flare gun for defense, the situation took an unexpected turn. The wolf seemed to sense Nolan's presence, stood up, and, without aggression, walked off the porch and disappeared into the woods. It appeared that the wolf's intention was simply to bring the baby back to her own kind, perhaps seeking help. Reflecting on the incident, Nolan was amazed to realize that the wolf had never been a threat but rather a guardian for the baby. Initially, it had rescued her from a burning vehicle, likely under the belief that the mother might not survive and then attempted to bring the infant to the safety of other humans. This act of unexpected kindness challenged Nolan's preconceived notions about the nature of wolves, highlighting their capacity for empathy and protective behavior. Carefully pausing at the forest's edge, the wolf glanced at the infant with a fleeting curiosity before retreating into the dense woods. Nolan, who had been anxiously observing from a distance, quickly approached the child. Despite the crisp air that day, the baby retained a surprising warmth, a residual heat from the wolf's body that had fortuitously prevented her from succumbing to the cold. The wolf's actions hinted at an unexpected compassion. However, Nolan understood that the child was not yet safe. She bore no signs of aggression from the wolf, such as bites or scratches. Instead, her bruises seemed to originate from a recent car crash. Concerned about the possibility of internal injuries, Nolan recognized the urgency of getting her medical attention. As he carefully lifted her, a moment of sheer terror unfolded, the baby ceased breathing. With no time to exit the woods conventionally, Nolan initiated mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on the spot. Thankfully, her heartbeat was faint but present, sparing the need for chest compressions, a relief to Nolan given his larger stature and the fear of potentially inflicting harm. After several tense breaths, the infant resumed breathing. Not taking any further risks, Nolan dialed for emergency services and then carried the baby to a nearby clearing. 
As he made his way, he noticed the wolf silently following them. Its presence, rather than alarming him, provided a strange sense of companionship amidst the daunting task of protecting the infant. Throughout his career in emergency services, Nolan had encountered numerous dangerous situations and had been instrumental in saving lives. Yet, holding this delicate baby girl, he felt an unprecedented level of fear. His relief was palpable when a helicopter, carrying paramedics, finally arrived. Handing over the baby to trained professionals alleviated a heavy burden. They swiftly transported her to the hospital where her anxious family awaited. She had several injuries, fortunately all treatable. If not for Nolan and the wolf's intervention, the outcome could have been grim. Days later, the baby's mother emerged from a medically induced coma and was greeted by the sight of her husband cradling their daughter Anna, who was contentedly sucking on her hands, and scathed by the ordeal. In the weeks that followed, the family expressed a heartfelt desire to personally thank Nolan for his heroic actions. Meeting the baby again, now smiling and secure in her mother's arms, moved Nolan to tears. A few months after the incident, they arranged in a heartfelt gesture to express their gratitude, the couple decided to do something special. Nolan led them to the rustic cabin nestled in the woods where he and the wolf had discovered the abandoned baby. The family was eager to see this significant sight, intrigued by the setting of their child's rescue. As they wandered around the cabin, soaking in the poignant atmosphere of the place, Nolan caught sight of a familiar figure. It was the wolf, standing silently at the forest's edge. The majestic creature watched over the baby and the family with an intense gaze, as if ensuring the safety of the child it had once saved. After a few heartfelt moments, the wolf turned and vanished into the trees, as swiftly and mysteriously as it had appeared. The sight of the wolf, and the knowledge that the baby it had rescued was now thriving, seemed to bring a sense of completion to the incredible event. This experience deepened the family's appreciation for Nolan and the wolf, embedding them forever in their hearts with gratitude and awe. Thank you for joining us in this touching story. We look forward to bringing you more remarkable tales that continue to inspire and captivate in the future.